right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Dude, I'm super fired up today. I think we're gonna get a lot done. Uh, the only thing I'm really concerned is, is how tight the amplifiers are, but again, that's a space you know, restriction that we're working with. But other than that, I think everything is gonna go really smooth. We're getting ready to pull in now. It's a beautiful day here in Ohio. We're gonna pull in the Patriot here. The, the amount of equipment that's here is just insane. You don't see that every single day, guys. That is pretty neat. So now I know that Brandon got some good work done yesterday after I left. Yesterday. I'm really excited to see what he got done. Um, I know that he reinforced that door just a little bit more, or at least a hinge side of it, so I'll be able to show you guys that this morning. It, we're moving really fast on this thing, guys. This is a reference. I know that these videos seem really stretched out, but we've only been here for about a week and maybe a half. So the amount of work that we're getting done in such a short amount of time really is insane. So I'll go ahead and give you guys an update on what that looks like, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna do moving forward for the rest of the day. Alrighty guys, so Brandon did get a good bit of stuff done yesterday. He got this bracket finally welded up here and got the uh, the crossers done here so that way this door is reinforced. One of these brackets is already fully welded, the other one's kind of tack welded. So again, it's not fully done yet, but what I can show you is this door will open and shut. It does get heavy right here though. <laughs> it's heavy, don't keep your fingers in there. So I'll probably end up doing like a handle right here or something like that, just to make it a little more safer for us. But it moves. Now granted, we still have another 300 pounds to add in this door. So we still gotta do a little bit more reinforcing, but I think it's gonna turn out awesome. And this door will open up all the way out to there. So you guys will be able to see the battery bank and the amplifiers side by side. I think that is really unique. The last little segment you just saw right there, we were talking about the, the amp rack. We end up having to make some modifications on it. We need to bring these holes back a little bit. That way they clear when the amps are coming in. And then the other thing too that I, I personally didn't think about until after we start putting it all together, that this is gonna hold the amp together, and, you know, keep it vertical. But at the same time, this bracket right here will be overlapping the power and ground terminals. So maintenance wise, it's gonna be a pain to get your Allen in there without arcing it off of this. So we're gonna cut all this out right here. So we're gonna get all that taken care of uh, with the laser machine, cleaned it all up, and then kind of put it all back together. All right, so you're copying, or you're not copying and pasting it, you're taking that and actually putting it yeah. right into that slot. Yeah, I'm telling it where to go. Okay. So yeah, you just take the edge and of where you want it to meet. in the center and then you come over to where that edge is supposed to line up and of course it put it backwards that's pretty cool so then each amp is going to sit in between each one mounted up yeah that's going to look so real like good amp here amp here amps across so then you got your mounting holes right here bam 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 yep that's pretty cool. Which, it didn't grab those out of the face, but details. So then you take this file, is that what you would call it as a file? Uh, we take the DXF files out of this. And then that goes over to that laser over there and does all the magic? Yep. That's awesome, man. So then, so this file right here is gonna go to the printer and then how long does that typically take to cut it's something like this? Printer, Sorry, <laughs> printer. we're talking printers, man. <laughs> Oh, I might edit this out. I'll probably leave it in because I sound good. Um, so that laser cutter will cut it out. How long does that cut typically take? Uh, I mean, I know everything varies and stuff like that based off of... It's an hour and a half to cut all that. Really? Like 14, not, maybe not quite that long. Maybe 40 The plates are five minutes. Hour, so you got 14, 14 plates. Five, but... I'm not maybe editing this out either. Back, you can do the math right here. We'll see how long it takes you. <laughs> I got calculators and computers, bro. I ain't too proud. <laughs> 25 minutes. 
See, that's crazy to think I'll about. It take about an hour with like loading material. No, 25 like minutes with loading material because the the bit the big plate we already cut out was like five minutes. Oh yeah, an hour is what we talked about the other day. I'm coming back to this and we'll see how long it really took. Let's see what we do back here though. Like, okay. With the chipping hammer, and you just go like this. Oh, hit it. You gotta hit it first. Yeah, it comes right up. Yeah, see, we were we were hammering our cars yesterday. You know what I mean? That's really cool. It comes out quick if you just hit it right. You know what I mean? So now you guys can take all those stars and put them on Etsy, and people get crazy over them. Oh my God. <laughs> I about that. Yeah, well, when all the missing material starts showing up from work, I don't want to, you know, uh, take any responsibility for. So then this slides into this machine, correct? Yeah, you'll see. Okay. You'll watch it work. It's a big boy. We can cut up to an inch and a quarter on this thing. So you can cut up to an inch and a quarter on this thing. Gee, many Christmas. Oh, like that? Yeah, that's that's an inch. We've been doing a bunch of tests. <laughs> that's insane. This is not a user-friendly laser. Me and Red have to literally figure it out. Well, sure, because I bet there's not a real good user manual on it. Well, no, the head we got in this thing isn't even, it's not even in our manual. It's so new. Really? Yeah. Wow. So that bottom just slid in there. Yeah. That's cool. And now this is going to drop back down. Here we come out. Okay, so now on my first tour around here, you guys said if this uh, green film was not on, this would instantly make you go blind. Oh, yeah. This would, this one would make you almost, it would probably be instantaneous. That green film's the only thing. Only thing for that's kind of crazy to even think about. The class four laser. Yeah. Class four, baby. I bet I could handle it. <laughs> huh? So what is that? Is that the head right there? Yeah. I need a three six. Now, how hard are those to get replaced? Not hard at all. We run through them fairly often. They're only like consumable. Okay, so nothing too fancy there. I feel like just everything involving this machine is like overly complicated and. It is. <laughs> He's saying it isn't. You're saying it is. It is. Everything is. There's 314 inches per minute is what this thing Versus can cut. Versus the 1,500. So. Holy, so it really is three times faster. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Would you say that? That is insane. Yeah. Function. <laughs> so we're giving it a, a rim cut. Is that what we're calling this? Rim cut. Rim, rim cut. Remnant. Remnant. Remnant cut. Okay. You can. That's just a fancy way of saying trim the goddamn sheet. Okay. <laughs> so let's start there. We're gonna trim the sheet up now, the fancy way. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> and that is the ant bracket. That's really cool. The hot. Here you be, guys. Thank you, thank you. Ain't good. And we're off. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Everybody needs one of these bad boys. Okay guys, so here's what the initial amp rack will look like. Bam, 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 and then all the amps will sit right in between there. Now again, I know what you guys are gonna say, man, these amps need to be more spread apart, and yes, you are correct, they need to be more spread apart, but there's not a lot of room in this back section, and I really wanted to make sure that we had functionality too, so I can actually work on this thing. We did just discover one little hiccup though, but it is fixable, because we didn't cut all these yet. Uh, That's why we cut these first two out. So this plate will be screwed into that metal wall. I am afraid that it'll be grounded out. So sticking an Allen wrench into the positive and negative side could get a little goofy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to cut this out right here, all the way down through. That way it saves us from potential arky sparky or anything like that. So we are trying to think about this in a smart way. So Brandon got the piece of metal here. How thick is this? Uh, 20 gauge. 20 gauge, so nice and thin, not gonna be too heavy. As if the door needs to be any heavier, am I right? 
Um, so we're gonna cut it out the old-fashioned way with the grinding wheel. What this will look like up here is all this will be covered up. The sides will be covered up in this bottom, but the battery bank itself will be exposed. It's just gonna be a pain to try to make this one solid piece that's connected and disconnected. And to be honest with you, we'd still like to see the battery a little bit and show that off. So we're gonna go ahead and get that cut up, form it up here, and then uh, show you guys what that looks like. Six and a half hours later. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put tabs in here and make these panels removable. So it'll be four panels in total. You can see that we got one tab there. There'll be another one over there. So we'll go ahead and burn through this real quick. And then we gotta show you what's in the back of the truck. Cause that'll be fun now. Alrighty guys, we got a, got a gift here from Vibration Audio. Check that bad boy out. There's 270 amp hours of C-Max sitting right there. Roger's got the forklift now. We're gonna unload it real quick and uh, open it up and see what she looks like. The box is freaking massive. You're good. Slide on out nicely, here we go. Oh yeah, bud. Am I the only one nervous? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you need like a dramatic unboxing? Oh yeah, bud. Get the smoke machine out and everything. I got a bait. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. That thing is awesome. Oh, you just got fingerprints on it. It is dusty though. I want to clean it all off. Dude, that thing looks awesome. That looks awesome. Vibration audio, bars all over it. Straight from Coventry out of Michigan. That's awesome. That is awesome. Alrighty guys, so again, huge shout out to Vibration Audio. Without my fingerprints on it, it looks pretty good. It's very shiny, everything's well built, and it was shipped really well. I mean, we probably pulled, what, 53 screws out of this thing? It wasn't moving, okay? I swear in my life, this thing, oh my goodness. It was kind of a, a crazy experience unboxing it. But this battery weighs right around 270 pounds, 300, give or take. Um, so. In the next video, guys, we're going to get this battery mounted into this box right here. Um, and we won't show this on this video, but we're going to skin the rest of this door, get it prepped for paint. And then in the next video, you guys will see all this getting painted. We're going to weld up the, the amp bracket now. So these brackets will be put in here, welded up, and then the amplifiers will sit in, screw in, all the way through. So all this will get painted in the next video and installed so the amplifiers will get you know set in there not wired up but set in there the tailgate will be i don't even know if i want to call it a tailgate anymore it needs a, a crazier name i want to call it the dumpy but it, ah, it needs something more anyways we're gonna get that installed and all hooked up looking pretty so the next video guys is going to be really cool it'll be really neat neat to see the the finished product so if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. These videos have been so much fun to make. Again, shout out to Patriot Company for hooking me up and making sure that we're going to be at the TDH show. Everything has gone pretty smoothly, I would say. Yeah. I don't think we've hit too many major roadblocks. So I'm going to knock on wood here, okay? So again, guys, make sure to hit that notification button. The next video that's going to be coming out about two, three days from now. You guys are not going to want to miss it. I'm super stoked for you guys to see the finished product. Till then, take care.